Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I've been using iOS 10.3.3 Beta 2 for a few days, and as many of you have requested, I thought I'd do a quick follow-up video on it. Now, this particular version has been really stable, and really we care more about what's probably coming out to developers on Monday, which is iOS 11, but I thought I'd do a quick follow-up on this one because I think Apple has really nailed it and stabilized the OS. Everything seems to be working quickly and fluidly, I really have no issues with multitasking, app opening, uh, landscape on the plus size iPhones seems to work fine, 3D Touch is working fine, and everything's just working really well for me. I'm really happy with this particular version. People on Twitter usually message me and tell me how bad or good it is, and most of you have said it's been really stable and decent. Battery life for me has been really good as well. I haven't plugged this in today and it's been unplugged. You'll see it's about 2.12 p.m. It's been unplugged since about nine this morning, eight this morning, and it's got two hours of usage, four hours of standby, for almost four and a half hours of standby, and we're at 83%. So it's doing pretty well for me. I can't really complain. It's been decent battery life. Apps haven't been crashing. I haven't had any rescreen or, or reboots of the screen or anything like that. And I, I can't really complain. So I didn't want to take too much time to talk about this since iOS 11 will be out on Monday for developers, or at least that's what they've done in the past anyway. And Apple will be live streaming that. So I'll leave a link to where you can check out the live stream. Usually it's just on apple.com and you have to have an Apple device to actually watch it most of the time. Aside from that though, there's not much to say about this particular version. This wallpaper was sent to me by Ryan Cozens, thanks for sending it along. I'll leave a link in the description as I always do. And that's pretty much it. Let me know your thoughts on this beta. I'd love to hear how it's been for you. And let me know if you're looking forward to iOS 11 or iPhone 8 even that we may even see a glimpse of. I, I doubt that, but we've seen quite a few prototypes or at least leaks recently. So maybe we'll get a glimpse of that or get an idea of what that's going to be like. I'm excited for new Macs and things like that that we'll hopefully see, but other than that, I don't have much more to add. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.